All right. Now we're going to talk about the CIA triad, and I am not talking about a conflict between the United States Intelligence Services and Chinese gangs. I am talking about confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And these are three components that make up basically kind of the, the basis of almost everything else we're going to talk about for the rest of the semester. So everything comes and stems from protecting confidentiality, integrity, availability, or a couple of those, or potentially all of those. But typically when you're talking about things in this triangle shape, triangle shape, I'm trying to make a triangle with my fingers. There we go. That's a triangle-ish of some sort. Um, when you're talking about things in a triangle shape like this, what you're referring to is balance. And the fact that you're going to have to possibly make some sacrifices in one area in order to increase another area. If you're completely and absolutely positive that you have to protect confidentiality, then availability or integrity might suffer a little bit. If you're absolutely positive that protecting integrity or protecting availability is important and your systems have to be always 100% available, then you're probably going to have to make some sacrifices in terms of integrity or in terms of confidentiality or both. Very much like the uh, project management triangle with time, cost, and scope, where you've got what you can get done, how much time you have to get it done, and how much it's going to cost you to get it done. And really, you've got a balance of those, and you can't maximize all three. Same here in the case of the CIA triad, the information security triangle here. So as we go through and talk about definitions of each of these components, C, I, and A, um, think about what it means. What does this, what do these things mean? How might you balance them? When might one component, when might confidentiality be more important than availability? Or when might availability or when might integrity be the most important thing? And how do you balance these things? And how does that differ between, for different organizations or for different types of data? You know, what, what does it mean in different places? Um, because it's not the same. This, the balance and what matters and what's important in CIA is not the same for every organization, for every person, for every type of data, even within an organization. So think about that. And when could you ignore, or maybe not completely ignore, but de-emphasize one of the sides, one of the components of the triangle. So think about that. I'll have these questions up again at the end, but think about it. Some, uh, something to frame your, your thoughts as we talk about C, I, and A. So confidentiality. Confidentiality is the first component of CIA, and it is referring to basically ensuring that people don't see things that they shouldn't. So this is protecting data from prying, uh, prying eyes, protecting either the secrecy of data, basically preventing anybody from seeing it, prevent, protecting privacy, um, protecting anybody outside your organization from seeing it or, or, you know, privacy means different things to different people. But for the most part, it means you're protecting users information from people who shouldn't see it. Um, so that's protecting your outside users information. You might also be concerned about confidentiality of your internal information. So if you have inside information, trade secrets, code, things like that, that you need to protect from people outside your organization. It's not the same as privacy, right? Because privacy is something different. This is, this is secrets. This is company secrets that you're trying to keep safe. And so, you know, ensuring that other people can't get to that. So how do you do that? And, and we'll talk throughout the semester more about these technologies and more about each of these and how they work and and how they all work together to improve your information security. But encryption is a major component of, of is, as far as tools that can be used to aid you as you try to maintain confidentiality. Um, authentication and authorization, you know, verifying that people are who they say they are and that they have permission to do things, um, including in, in the case of confidentiality, often viewing records or, or seeing certain things and, and, managing the authorization so that people who shouldn't have access to private data or secret data don't have access to that. Um, data hiding potentially. You may go beyond encryption where you're you're obfuscating the data so others can't see it and you're you're literally hiding it so that they can't find it. So they, they don't even know that there's data to look for. And we'll talk about ways that that is done. Um, 
seclusion and isolation, putting it off somewhere in a granite mountain vault or, or putting it in an air gapped network that has, or an, yeah, an air gapped computer that has no network connectivity, isolating it from the network to prevent anyone from getting access to it. Or, you know, there's a lot of different ways that this seclusion and isolation can, can be implemented. And these are all different ways that you can implement and improve the confidentiality of your data. So integrity, what is integrity? Well, Oprah Winfrey says that integrity is doing the right thing, knowing that nobody's going to know whether you did it or not. And isn't that sweet and special? That is absolutely not the type of integrity that we're talking about. The type of integrity that we are talking about is making sure that data doesn't change when it shouldn't, which is similar, right? Making sure that you don't change just because you're not being looked at, well, that's, that's the same thing. It, making sure that data doesn't change when it shouldn't change. Making sure that records that have been entered are accurate and have good information in them and that the information is up to date and it hasn't been modified irresponsibly or, or in ways that it should not be modified. So there's a lot of different technologies and again, we'll go into all of these later on, but a lot of different ways that you can improve the integrity of your data. Hashing is a big one. Um, and digital signatures, those are very closely related ideas. Um, logs and auditing can help you with integrity or help monitor the integrity of the data that you have and help you identify if there are issues with the integrity of your data. Um, and authorization is a big one, uh, along with authentication. Those two very much go together. Uh, but making sure that Nobody who shouldn't have access to the data or, or, or who shouldn't have access to update or change the data um, has access to do that. So all of those things are important for making sure that data doesn't change when it shouldn't change. And finally, availability, the final component of the CIA triangle, triad. Availability is making sure that resources are accessible or available when they need to be. That, that's referring very often to uptime in terms of systems administration, but really what it's talking about is making sure that you don't lose access to the data that you need to have access to for whatever your purpose is. So all sorts of different technologies that we can use to do that. Um, RAID is one, replication and redundancy, which is RAID is a part of that. Backups, recovery sites, disaster planning, business continuity planning. Um, all things that we're going to talk about. Threat modeling really is a, is a way to improve the availability and confidentiality and integrity, all of them. Um, but really, we're talking about different ways that you can make sure that your data does not become inaccessible to you. Because if you lose access to the data, then it's useless and it's, and it's not providing value to you or to your customers or to anyone else. So thinking, think about availability in terms of making sure that Whatever you need is accessible when you need it, whatever those resources are, whether it's data or servers or processing power or any of those. And, and there are, you know, there are threats to availability and there are ways that you can improve availability. And we'll talk about all of that throughout the semester. So going back, think about how do you balance that CIA triangle? What matters? What doesn't matter um, inside of different organizations, what kind of an organization would really emphasize the C? Are there organizations that really emphasize integrity or, or what kind of company um, is availability the most important thing? Or are there different kinds of data that matter more for availability um, or for confidentiality or for integrity? Think about all of these things. And, and what are the circumstances that would allow you to favor and, and, and emphasize one of those components over another?